All right. What's good, Meta Junkies? Today, we're going to talk about why Cetrion is by far the best character in Mortal Kombat 11. So I'm pretty sure this doesn't really need to be debated, but I can definitely say that um, number one, this character is, is when played correctly, this character is almost impossible to touch. Um, just off going off of the initial video, Cetrion has about, you know, at least minimum 15 different specials in this particular variation that I am, um, that I'm looking at. So the variation that I picked has Earthquake, Teleport, Tendril Pools, uh, I think Hell's Wrath is a uh, default, um, uh, and the Rocks are default as well, the High Rock and the Ground Rock, and the Wall as well. Um, not to mention that Cetrion has one of the best back dashes, one of the best movements, some of the best rushdown buttons, and I mean, it's, it's really difficult to play against this character. So, for my argument as to why Cetrion is the best character in the game, and I hope I'm not creating more Cetrion mains by saying this, um, if you play her correctly, you can't touch her, right? So, first, let's, um... Let's look at a few things. Let's look at all the moves. She has Natural Barrier, Far Natural Barrier, Hell's Wrath, Close, Far, Air versions. She's got the Boulder Dash, she's got the Bouncing Boulder. In this variation, we also have Earthquake, Deadly Winds, the Tornado, and we have the um, Far, Close, and Air Teleports as well. Uh, basically meaning that Cetrion can essentially do an instant teleport. And this teleport is really hard to punish because you have to react to the animation of her teleporting and then preemptively uh, throw out a strike move before uh, you see her. Which means that she could do a far teleport and then punish you for pressing buttons. So you've seen the, you've seen Dragon do things like that as well. You've seen Sonic Fox try to punish the teleport. Um, the teleport is really, really fast. So meaning that if you don't react to her teleporting, she can actually mix you up with a strike or a throw immediately after the teleport. There you go, we have the Earthquake. Now the Earthquake is really good because the Earthquake is two hits, but she can also cancel the Earthquake to make it one hit and still be safe enough to press a button. So for example, if you get hit, she actually recovers before you do. And even if you block it, she still kind of recovers a little bit before you. So it's still a mix-up. So there you go, as you see right there, she can definitely... Um, you know, do the do the earthquake, cancel it, and then strike or throw directly after. You actually have to uh, guess the mix up and hold it. It's not really something that you can do. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna try to have Jax uh, interrupt as fast as he can. And as you can see right there, I recovered just before, and I'm actually able because I'm in a crouching position. Unless I throw out a mid of some sort, unless I can read. Unless I 100% read that you're going to cancel um, in my face and I throw out a mid, that's the only way you're probably going to get away with uh, stopping that. But even if, I do believe Cetrion can still block as well. Cetrion can do 1-1 one, one into the Tornado and then punish your buttons after the Tornado with 4-2. So you actually have to hold the mix-up and you have to wait to see what Cetrion does. So there's never a time in which Cetrion does not have control over the neutral or the sh or, or over any part of the screen. Cetrion is always in control and you're always kind of left reacting to what Cetrion has to do. So if you try to do anything, uh, Cetrion, all she needs to do is just look at what it is that you're doing and, and, and punish it. You can also stop you with the earthquake, cancel it, go back into some other zoning. Uh, the whole kit of Cetrion is to just keep you out. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you're going to be able to do that's going to make it so that you can um, get in on her unless you make the biggest read of a lifetime. You have to guess what Cetrion's going to do, when she's going to do it, and then use the appropriate option to do it. Now, there are some slight counterplays to dealing with Cetrion, and we saw this during the console combat uh, finals. Uh, with Wasim versus Faisal Combat, where Wasim is flawless blocking literally everything. Um, there are certain strings you can flawless block the wind off of, and we're going to show those strings in a second. But for the most part, off of 1-1, one, one, it's always real. But there are certain other strings where the wind can be flawless blocked. 
But that's kind of your only play against Cetrion. Um, you have to just make the right read at the right time, while the Cetrion player does not need to make any reads, really, unless you're just like so godlike at making reads. Then at that point, you force the Cetrion to then have to, um, you know, think about what it is that they're going to do. If you're not making every single amazing read possible, um, and forcing the Cetrion to stay honest and play neutral honestly with you. Um, if you're not able to flawless block, do reversals, if you're not able to basically play perfectly against the Cetrion, making all the right moves, making um, all the right plays at the right times, flawless blocking the right strings, calling out the teleports, there's so much that Cetrion doesn't have to think about. Whereas, um, you know, your average character is going to have to think about and is going to have to basically rack their brains making the right move. So, if you can imagine a good player, an average player with Cetrion, all they have to do is just basically do either a forward or a back throw, which sends you full screen, and then start zoning. You get in close, they do a block string, pushes you away, maybe teleports far away, back dashes, goes back to zoning. Or, um... Or basically just rush you down to neutral and frame trap you and make it so that you're unable to uh, ever get in and do damage while the Cetrion player is free to move around the screen freely and do whatever it is that they want to do. So that's basically the key is that if you want to play against Cetrion, you're going to need to... Um, you're going to need to know the matchup in and out. You're going to need to play a lot of Cetrion players. And you're going to need to figure out what is this particular Cetrion's... Um, what is this particular Cetrion's um, modus operandi, right? What is it that they're going to do? What is their pattern? And then maybe play off that. Or just, like I said, or just be a 1% player who will make the reads necessary to get it, what it is that they want to get. But with all that being said, that's my reasoning as to why I believe Cetrion is the best character in the game. Playing against her, like I said, in conclusion, in summary, playing against Cetrion is 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 really really difficult for the average player. Being Cetrion and playing Cetrion, I feel is extremely easy. I feel like the average Cetrion player can literally just press whatever button they want. They can go ham. They can play rush down. They can play zoning. They can play far. They can play close. They can play mid screen. They always control the flow of the game. Always. Let's not mention full screen, you know, fatal blow that, that she can just activate whenever. Um, that also kind of tracks as well. So, I mean, all you would need to do to play Cetrion, like I said, is do a move or two that, that controls neutral, pushes your opponent further away, and then start zoning and then just chip them out until as they try to get in. And then once they get in, you do some of your great buttons. Um, you do some of your great buttons to get in, and then... Um, and then once you once you push him away far enough that you could just safely teleport away to the other side of the screen and do it all over again and take another 50% chip. So, with all that being said, um, that's my reasoning as to why Cetrion is definitely, you know, top two. I would even go as far as to say top one character in the game. She doesn't have any bad matchups at all, in my opinion. She might have some five fives, but I don't believe that Cetrion has any bad matchups. She's probably the one character in this game that can play any character. You never have to switch. You never have to change your tactic. You can play against just about every character the same way. Maybe except for like against Liu Kang or Jacket, you have to be aware of like you know, they're full screen neutral breakers and things like that, but I mean, for the most part, Cetrion has tools to deal with, deal with these things. Uh, so with all that being said, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. I'm going to be doing um, a tier list video for each character in the game, and we're going to talk about why I believe each character belongs where they belong. Some videos are going to be longer than others because more characters are more complex. This video is going to be kind of short simply just because, um, you know, etc. You know, she, she's pretty broke. Not going to lie. Probably one of the more broken zoners. And I play a lot of fighting games, by the way. There's broken characters like Cetrion in a lot of fighting games. There's like super... I, I call them like super zoners. Like you got Monat in uh, Street Fighter V. You have um, Testament in Guilty Gear Plus R. Um, I mean, there's a lot of characters like this. And, and, and anyone will tell you that any of these, these style of characters are really difficult to play against. 
So with all that being said, like I said, don't forget to leave a comment, tell me your thoughts about Cetrion, and if I miss anything, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more tournament footage. Um, we have the PC League Invitational coming up in January featuring Avert, uh, Hayate, Gur, uh, Deoxys, and a few other players that we're still looking for right now. Um, don't forget to follow on Twitch as well. We stream every single day except for Sundays. Um, and we also have the PC Fight Nights on Saturdays as well on the channel. So I will see you guys for the next uh, tier list video tomorrow. Peace out. Have a good one.